What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. I forgot to start recording, darn it. Would have loved to have made that, that mighty blow guy, or even the guard guy, but we'll take it, like I said. I'm not gonna... Not gonna complain on that. Um, do I re-roll this? He can't really get to me. Anywhere. So, I don't think I re-roll it, actually. I think I saved my re-roll. He can't really get a bull around to get to that ball. So, pretty safe there, I think. Shit time for a one. the niggle. Yep, that's fine. Nice. We like it. Does he re-roll? Surely he's not really... Oh, he did! Holy cow! Cannot believe he actually re-rolled that, to be honest. Wow. Well, we'll get a shot at that claw guy now. Is that the armor broke one? No, it's not. Darn it. That stinks. <clears throat> That stinks, but we will get a shot at him, won't he? We will get a shot at him. Potentially, if we can get the yellow here. Nope. So he'll stay pat. Yep. Okay. Go. Come on, break this guy. This would be the guy I really, really want to get off the pitch. There we go. Come on, baby. Cross. Ugh, darn it. Darn it. Couldn't get that cross, unfortunately. That would have been a nice one to get. That would have definitely been a nice one. That's the frenzy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we're going to keep these skis out of the way here. Make sure he can't bust through with a goofy wizard play. Take it. Thank you. 
Okay, now we might be able to get a hit on him. Oof, yes, and no yellow. And he doesn't reroll that one. Beautiful. Probably runs back over here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can't really get a guard in there, though, can I? Unfortunately, I really can't. So I don't think I'm going to get the hit on him, unfortunately. Could get the hit on that bull, though, couldn't I? Gonna give me the free hit on that claw then. Interesting. Nice. To be honest, I wouldn't have dodged out there because now you free up my crocs to put where I want. So I can get the hit there. here. And then gives me two dice here. Okay. A lot of rolls to get that extra assist on him. Nice. Come on, baby, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Break him. Ah, oh, just a stun. But that's all right. That's another foul, potentially, that we can get next turn. That is another foul that we can potentially get. coming in handy there. 
I think he follows to keep the guard in on this other guy. Yep. Exactly what I expected. on this guy now. Oh, never mind. He had to stand him up, didn't he? Yep. You get two dice on the Crocs there. Yep. Freaking nice. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to get Sun Drop into the mix here. Good news is I don't think we're going to have to worry about him lightning bolting the ball here because I don't think that's what his plan is going to be. Hmm, interesting. First off, let's see if the Crocs can at least stand up. Nice, good job Crocs. <coughs> Good job, Croxy. That. Baby, cross. Ah, damn it. Cross there would have been so nice. so far. And that gets him one point away from leveling, right? It does. Nice. Okay, so now I think we just go ahead and run up here. questions do I do the one guy here I still got all three of my rerolls 
but if I turn over, if I scroll out, they don't get a chance to foul him, which would suck. Okay, we're fine with that. As long as I didn't help skull, I'm good. Come on, baby. Cross him up. Cross him up. Ugh, oh, I get caught and I don't break. At least I don't think I broke. Nope, double ones. Yikes, that sucks. get to yellow, I'm almost positive of it. I'm almost positive he's going to get the pile, or the, the yellow in general. Because he has tackle, but pretty certain that's what's going to happen. Or is he going to go after the skink? Oh, he's going to go after the skink. Okay. Nice. Grab cancels my side step. on that one. At least it's not uh, high on, but he gets the KO anyway. Dodges, man. Really? Who is he going to come in and foul? Unassisted foul? Surely not. Okay. Interesting. So I think. Stand him up to start. I think what I'm going to do is try to push him out. He's not stand firm. So do this. I mean, I have edge on that guy. Could have just dodged out. Hobgoblin out for sun kissed on that one. Really wish that would have came on the damn pylon claw piece though. Damn it, that's the guy I need to get him on. <coughs> oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? At least I'm getting the crosses. At least I'm getting the crosses. Oh, 
he doesn't have break tackle yet. Never mind. I was thinking I could break tackle out, but he doesn't have break tackle yet. So, not doing that. I don't know if I even want to do the hit there, to be honest. Because then I'd have to follow. Yeah, I'm not going to do the hit there. I don't want to take... A, I don't want to take a chance going bonehead. B, I don't want to have to follow to keep him marked and then free him up. I'd rather keep him marked, too. Hey, what's up, Danton? Uh, yes, rookie blocker took a something, armor break, on turn one. This one was badly hurt, I believe, and the gobbo that I just hit was a badly hurt, yeah. And he hasn't used his APO. Obviously, he didn't use it on that rookie go uh, blocker. Hey. Nothing for him on my side, just the KO. I got a couple of fouls on the armor broke claw piece, but uh, first one was just a KO, and the second one I got caught with nothing. So far, though, fingers crossed, every single hit on a player from his claw piece has not gotten a, on a source, has not gotten a uh, yellow. So I've been fortunate with that. See a foul here on that guy. Yep. Figured as much. Catch him, ref. He caught me. Turn around is fair play, baby. Gets the KO. Did not get caught on the armor. He did get caught on the injury, though. Nice. So that's another player out. We'll take it. Oh, that's right. He had a bribe. Never mind. Damn it. Well, at least the bribe's gone, I guess, right? Yeah, let's just dodge with a Chaos Dwarf. Sure, because that's how that should work. Alright, let's think about this here. I can't really get to either of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, can't really get to either of them. So I think probably what's best is to blitz here. Push him off. Ah, I've gotten two breaks on him, but only stuns, unfortunately. <coughs> that really stinks. Bring him back up there. drop to here. Then I can push this guy off. Fuck, that's only one die. I thought he was guard. Shoot. Kind of messed that up, didn't I? Unless I wanted to bring him up. And that would put him in harm's way, potentially. That's one die. Yeah. Can't bring Sundrop back in there, unfortunately. Just gonna have to get a little, uh, a little risky here. And if and if my Croc screws me here, then I potentially lose my edge piece. Whew, okay, so far so good. So it doesn't matter. Yep, doesn't matter. Two, three, four, five, okay. So the best he does is the hit with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can do that if we're a go for it. Whoa. 
Actually, he can get it without even a go for it. He just hits the crocs and takes the crocs down. Oh, no, I got to stand firm. He, he'd have to take the crocs out. I got two turns left. I got to make sure to remember the score here. There's his first claw hit on a source for yellow. And it's probably going to be a rough one. Here comes the pile on. Okay, we'll take it. Five into a four. We cannot complain about that. We cannot complain about that. And now, he almost fucked up there, didn't he? <laughs> yep, I put that source there for a reason. Nib, <clears throat> just so you couldn't get through there to do that. He should probably foul this guy. Or the Crocs, yeah, the Crocs would be a good foul too. Come on, ref, catch him again. Catch him again, please. Breaks. Oh, he gets the cross. He got caught though, at least. Well, can't use the APO there. <clears throat> at least we don't have to worry about any more fouls now from the dirty player. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get a mighty blow hit on this guy now, though, so that is huge. Okay. Question's gonna be. Let's see, could potentially get him down there. So, what I'm gonna do is. I don't really wanna use this skeek, so I'm not gonna bring the skeek back out here. <coughs> get him the fuck out of dodge. Sun drop on down. Bring this guy around. Okay. Nice. Now break it, please. Baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, damn it. Got an 11 on the break and only a 6 on the injury. Damn. Well, this is the one that I really want to get the yellow on break on, and I will reroll the hit. Don't need to. Let's go ahead and go there. Come on, baby, break him. Oh, damn it. That was the one I needed to break on, man. Shoot. That was the one I needed to break on. And he makes the jump up. Rolled a five on it. I imagine he uses the last reroll here, right? He almost got to. Oh, wow, he did. Okay. Kind of surprised by that, to be honest. Rerolls that one? No. Interesting. Oh wow, I'm surprised he didn't stand up here and keep him from being able to blitz now, because I can blitz with him now. That's interesting. Why would he do it that way? I have to do that. How can I do this now? I almost have to hit him to get that guard out of there. one die or uphill that'd be uphill if I hit him I'd have to come here and that'd be a one die so I have to come this way didn't matter <coughs> you can get a one die there
there. Really wish I had a guard here. Nothing else I can really do here, is there? I guess I could have came in from there and then got an assist there, but that wouldn't have really done me any good. Um, I just don't have, yeah, I don't have the dice to do anything else there. Now, who do I want to score on? I don't really want to score on him, but do I take the chance of rolling a double one here? Kickstart. Roll anything but a one. Thank you. That was pretty risky there. I could have double won that and been screwed. But it would have been very unbeneficial to get SPP on the skink that had the ball. But we got four out for him. That's good. Two out for us. We got both our KOs back. That's huge. Holy cow, that's big. That's big. Now we got to take hits, unfortunately. <coughs> now we got to take hits, but he's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right now I have ten. Um, he's not going to go on the line. He's definitely not going to go on the line. He will. And I guess he does. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> All right, well, this could be pretty ugly. This could potentially be ugly. Let's hope for some goodness here. <coughs> hope for some goodness. baby. Come on, baby. Cross. Oh, ho, ho, shit. So there goes Apo into a badly hurt. So he'll get him back, unfortunately. That was the bull I needed out, too. The tackle frenzy one. We'll take that. And no yellow there. That's nice. And no both down, too. Even better. So that's one claw hit we dodged. Nice. Dodge a mighty blow hit there. Gets the hit there, but at least that's no mighty blow, so. Claw, potential claw hit here. Uh oh, this is not good. I should have made him follow to get guard away from there. That was stupid. I messed that up. Okay, just a stun. He piled on anyway, so he loses his guard there. Come on, fail one of these. Make him use that reroll at least. No. Okay, we'll take it. We will take it. <coughs> Could have been a lot worse right there.
Can we get another rock like that? Oh my goodness, that would be so freaking amazing. <clears throat> oh, I can't line up like that. The rock would fuck me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can hit me anywhere from there and there. We're just going to go with that. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he could hit me anywhere. But I can't line him there because I don't want to take a chance of <laughs> a five player rock that would hit all five of my best players. That could have been pretty nasty, actually. <coughs> <coughs> oh, he put the tackle guy back. Oh, okay. Well, that happened. Hmm. I mean, I can't get to the ball. So I'm not going to rush the ball. Can't get a mighty blow hit on him, unfortunately, because guard's in the wrong spot best I could get would be a one die. I can get back here and start trying to rush the ball a little bit though, or put, at least put pressure on the ball back here. And I could hit with sun drop in here. Stay pat here. Shame I couldn't break him, but. <coughs> Darn it. <sighs> I gotta do it. force him to make that roll, right? Shoo. <clears throat> I gotta force him to make the roll there. I can't just let him have the straight up free run at these guys. Because if I can pick that ball up and steal a score here, I win the game. There's no way he... I mean, he could still potentially get lucky and pull the draw, but most likely he doesn't. So I need to try to make a concerted effort here to, to push on this ball. KO, but at least it's just a KO. I don't know what he does here. Does he 
break tackle out here and hit there? Does he break tackle out here and hit there? I think he does this one. And then he break tackles out here and marks this guy. That's what I'm thinking. Nope. He's going to just do the hit there and then break tackle out with him. Surprised he didn't come in and actually mark there to keep him a tackle piece on him. Interesting. Oh, missed that baby. Miss oh, whole oh, baby. Oh, break tackle. Shit. I didn't realize he had break tackle on Ask. Ugh, that sucks. So what is he going to blitz here and then move down with him to help Mark? I guess that's what he's going to do. Yep, that's what he's going to do. <coughs> oh, baby. Well, that means you got to break tackle now. Roll a one right here. Yes. Oh, he's still got his reroll. Damn it. Almost got it. Almost got it, man. Okay, so I think actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get in there. Let's do let's do this hit first. Oh damn! Snap! Oh shit! I just got me one there. That's a big one. Holy shit. Okay, so I think six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First things first, I think I need to get in here. Bring this guy into here. And then I'll do the hit here. Push him out there. <coughs> and that'll let me keep these two marked up. Failed to go for it. Come on. Shit. Oh, double failed to go for it. Fuck me. Oh, that was rough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That was really, really rough right there. My goodness. Yep. Ugh. So bad. Okay, we'll take that. I need him to not get a pal right here in the worst way possible. Really need him to not get a pal. Oh, come on with the jump up. Ugh, if he doesn't get that jump up, then this guy's free to come blitz, but unfortunately. <laughs> twice in a row he's made a three, uh, four plus jump up? No, three plus jump up. 
Ugh, so frustrating, man. Ah, <sighs> so frustrating. Really need him to not get a pal. Oh, wow, okay, I didn't expect that. Definitely did not expect that. Nice. He'll take them both down. Ah, come on with a one die yellow. Really? Ugh, frustrating. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. He's got sure feet, right? He does. Unfortunately, that sucks. That makes me make another go for it. But I wanted to do that hit first, so... Oh, come on. Really? <clears throat> Here, I just have to dodge a fucking... Just have to dodge a fucking one. pickup because why not I rolled a lot of ones so far this half a lot of ones fucking blodger that he just gets an open pal on. Ugh, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating, man. At least it was just a badly hurt. So far, no perms. Badly hurt, badly hurt, yeah. Nice. Okay, good bounce. bet he's not rolling ones. That would be really nice. Thank you. 
Trying to get three dice on this guy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could still score. <coughs> Oh, fucking hell, I rolled a one. God damn it. Ugh, that sucks, man. Wow. Should have did the hit before I did that dodge. Son of a bitch. This is going to be really bad, I have a feeling. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I've rolled a shit ton of ones this half. There's no distruth or misinformation in that. I've rolled way more ones than he has. But the first half went in my favor, so... Like I said, I can't complain because I've gotten a ton of injuries. Yep. Ugh. The injuries have evened themselves out, though, so to be completely honest, I actually can complain because the injuries have actually evened themselves out. Because in the first half, he didn't roll any ones, and I have rolled a ton of ones. So yeah, all in all, the dice have probably went a little bit worse for me in the overall scope of things. Takes the both down, probably. Yep. He hasn't failed to dodge yet, so it'd be nice if he actually failed to dodge and had to use a reroll on that. There we go. Hey, he rolled a one. There you go. Guess all I needed to do was start bitching about him not rolling ones. Does he use the reroll here? He would have been okay if he didn't use the reroll there, because there's most likely no way I'm getting to the ball. The real question is, does he do the hit here? Because if he does, I sidestep out of that tackle, but into that tackle. So, yeah. I think I do that and do the three die. Oh, no, he didn't do the three die. Okay. Um, is there a way... I could get the hit there, but does that do me anything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get the hit there.
Um, really not a whole lot I can do here. I got one, two, three, four guys on the pitch. Yeah, and then my twelfth one's there. Oh. Yeah, right there. It's a fucking thing. Can't see my players in that view. I think I just got to go for broke here, right? And now I gotta take them both down here. Can't push him there and make the, the pick up harder. I failed the dodge anyway. Well, at least I'm not taking a pile on hit. And I didn't break myself, so that's good. Could have been worse. Kind of surprised he's not blitzing here, to be honest. I think that's the better blitz. But he wants to have him free to pick up the ball, I guess. <clears throat> and he's still got his damn wizard. Hmm. Oh, he's going to blitz with the claw. Yeah. Okay. We'll take it. He's got to push him out to one of these two spots now. Yep. <coughs> Double fail here would be nice. Oh, almost. He failed the first one. I think he's going to foul him with that rookie hub. Oh. Yeah. Get the assist there for two dice, yeah. There and follow. Yep. Come on, ref, catch him. Catch him, ref, catch him. Okay, just a stun. We'll take it. from that fucking claw. <coughs> Tried to get everybody back to have a chance to maybe stop him. <coughs> Unfortunately, he's still got the wizard. Sundrop's going to catch a lightning bolt. He, yep, he's not going to let Sundrop have a chance to try to potentially hit him. Okay, we'll take it. We will take that. There's nice. Gonna foul sun drop here, I bet. Oh, okay. Blitz there. Puts him out. No.
Hmm, okay. Oh, is he gonna blitz with him? Nope, I guess he didn't blitz. Interesting. Interesting that he didn't blitz there, because he could have blitzed and got tackle on Sundrop. <coughs> Very interesting. He doesn't have tackle, so... Jesus Christ, so many ones, man. Ugh. Son of a bitch. If I get there, then he's blocked up. He's got to make a dodge out with him. Now I can just get a straight-up hit on fucking Sundrop. So terrible, man. Jesus. You don't need to do the go for it. Just get right here. I hope he double ones that, because he doesn't need to do the go for it there. That's much better. There was no reason to do a du go for it there. So he's going to hit with the frenzy guy, isn't he? Yeah. I think I'd rather hit with the claw piece. Well, he still could. I guess he could just go there and then hit with the claw piece there. Well, this could be bad. Yep. This could be very bad. Okay, we're okay with that. Yep, unfortunately. Catch him at least. Catch him at least. Got caught. I'm gonna bring him back so I can have him for the next half or the next drive. I could potentially one turn. Okay. Bring him up to safety here so he can't get fouled. him away so he can't get fouled. Let's see if I can get lucky and get a yellow here. Nope. Instead I just roll another one. Because why shouldn't I roll another one? So many ones this half. That's what cost me the, the win in this game. But potentially I could still potentially get the win. Should have been two nothing easily if I don't roll. 20,000 ones this half. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. Need these KOs back, and then I get one. Well, I get the most important one, I guess. Ay, 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 ay. <clears throat> Have a chance, but it's not very likely. If I get a reroll, it'd make it more likely. If I can get a reroll, it'll make it more likely. He can't block the entire back line either. That's perfect. So, yeah.
our way. Is there a way that I can... Bring him here. there or I need to get here so that the probable best chance is to go BAM <coughs> reroll ah that sucks that would have really helped oh that helps though that definitely helps. I do have sure feet, which is nice. Shoo. Well, let's see if a uh, monster can pull this off for us. Nice. Nice! That ball going out of bounds saved us. That definitely saved us for sure. Whew, so we get lucky and fortunate to pull off the win. Feels like vindication for the way that second half went though. That second half was all his way. Of course, first half was pretty much all my way too, so... It was definitely a tale of two halves. Well, re-roll it. Don't hurt to. Can't get any worse, right? But I was definitely fortunate that that ball went out of bounds. I don't... Most likely... Well, I shouldn't say most likely. It's probably about a 50-50 chance that I, um, that I actually score there. The hardest play would have been the... Um, the pass. Because I would have had to definitely do a pass... I have the edge, but the stunty cancels the edge on the pass, so it would have been just a normal pass with an edge three type player. Uh, Dr. Pepper gets the MVP. More importantly, we survive. No perms. And even better than that, we get the win. So, <clears throat> thankfully, I was able to save my. Apo all the way till the end where I could use it to get Sundrop back. Or that would have made that a little bit tougher too at the end there if I didn't have Sundrop back. So definitely we were very fortunate there at the end for sure. Not going to deny that. Next match we're missing Jolt. Whoops. Gonna miss next game. That takes our TV down a little bit. Gouge die. And we got the chaos next game. We'll wait and see what his TV looks like before. Uh, well, I guess we already know what his TV looks like, don't we?
go glance at his team real quick. Three-way tie at the front with the yells and the high with the high yells and the vamps. I mean. got this team in B Carmack I believe next yep and we're at home so no weather change so currently we're at 2100 he's at 1830 and he'll have his full roster of 11 three tackle one wrestle one of his tackles is his ball carrier, though. That's the biggest one we're going to have to worry about with the skinks. thinking about because right now I'm carrying 30k extra so if I pick up a loner skink to have 12 guys for the match that would put me at back down to 150 but then I'd add 30k so I'd be at 2130 which would put him at an even 300 yeesh An even 300, huh? Or do I just go 11 on 11 with four skinks? I really don't want to have to put my one turner on the pitch until I have to. I think I just give him the 300. I mean, he can put money in to get the 300 anyway. He's got money. I think I just go ahead and do that because I want to have 12 skinks. Or 12 skinks. I want to love to have 12 skinks plus all the other players I got, but I want to have 12 players, so. <clears throat> Okay, so that puts me back at 12. 6, 11, 12. And we'll just have to see what he does. Wizard, I'm assuming, for 150. What would he do with the other 150? Maybe a tackle beastman to have another tackle. He's already got a dirty player beastman, so he doesn't really need to take a dirty, another dirty player beast unless he just wants to foul. Or he could go wizard, bribe, babe. That's probably the most likely scenario. Then he has a bribe for the Fowler, but then the, that leaves him at only 11. So I almost kind of like the Wizard and a Beastman with maybe Tackle. Or he could just forsake the Wizard and go bribe and a couple of loners, or a couple of uh, Mercs, or he could do a Star Player. Chaos don't really have a lot of good Star Players though. Grashnak, I guess. I don't know how much Grashnak is.
don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, I think we actually got scheduled already. Uh, give me a few seconds here and I'll check. Because I remember messaging him. Let me get caught up over here real quick. And then I'll double check. Okay, so we know where we're at there. Alright, so let me go check MB Carmac here. Uh, boom. We did get scheduled. What did we say here? Flexible on Saturday or Sunday. Saturday, 1500 onwards, 1930 on Saturday, 1930 UTC, so that would be um, 730 minus 5 is 230, so 230 next Saturday, 730 UTC, so that's when we're playing with Carmack. So... Should be interesting. Should be a fun game. I like my chances better in that game than I did in this game. So we're definitely going to be going into that game expecting to get a win. So I think, um, two to one, yep. I think, let me, I want to check something over here real quick. No, we can't do nothing here, so I can do it down here. One, two, three, That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so let's get that saved. We can take you down to 120. And bam, good, we're done with that. <coughs>
so. Grish next, 310, okay. I figured he was pretty high, but I didn't know exactly how much. I mean, I could always go in here and check, but. Uh, <clears throat> I think I think the most likely scenario is either a wizard, a bribe, and a babe. <clears throat> or a bribe and potentially two uh, mercs to get him up to 13. He could take a merc with tackle, um, and he could take a merc with something else. If you want to get another dirty player, he could, or if you just want to get a blocker or a wrestler, wrestler would probably be better. Although blo I don't have any block skinks for this game, so the blocker would work fine. Because um, a rookie beastman is what, 70, 60? 60. So 60 plus this 30 is 90. Plus a skill is another 50. Right? So 150 for a skilled beastman. So no, he could get one. One tackle beastman and then a bribe and a babe. It'd be interesting to see what he goes. I think the likely scenario is probably wizard, babe, and bribe. It's hard for coaches to get away from taking a wizard when they have 300 in inducements. And sometimes it's not the right way to go, but even just the threat of the wizard can change the outcome of the game. The wizard's just really good for a lot of ways, a lot of reasons. So, it'll be interesting. We will have that match in six days, and we'll see how it goes. If we can get the win in that match, then we get two of the toughest teams that we're going to have to face as far as matching us up. <coughs> the only other two are the other Lizards and the other Chaos Dwarves. All right, the Vampires can't really match us up in strength. They're close because they have the Strength 6 Vampire with the three other vamps, or four other vamps. I think he has five. <coughs> but the other vamps aren't... Well, no, three... Yeah, three of them are Legends, actually. So this guy actually... And this would just be a tough game just because vamps are vamps, and he can do goofy, crazy shit. But hopefully he hasn't been able to replace a lot of Thralls by the time we play. <coughs> this would be a tough one just for a various number of reasons, not just being able to man up with this... Strength and strength to strength. This match, we're not worried about as far as being able to man up to us. Um, the humans, we're not worried about that for matching up to us. The Brett's same, and the High Elves same. Yeah. So really, the only two matches left that can really match up to us, guard and strength, is the other Chaos Dwarf and Wizards. The other matches will still be hard in their own way, but for many or various different reasons, not because of having to worry about our players taking a lot of heavy hits and potentially getting uh, removed from the pitch like this game <coughs> so
All right, well, that is going to be it, guys, for this one. I have to uh, continue doing some admin work for OFL. I'm already behind in the draft over there, so I'm going to get caught up on that and uh, and then watch the uh, F1 race. I still haven't watched it yet. So We will be back on Saturday with the next week in the OCC. Um, OFL will be getting started soon, and uh, the Three Goblin Leagues will be getting started soon as well. So we'll have some more matches coming up in the upcoming weeks. Um, but for now, this next stream will be on this coming Saturday for week two in the OCC against those chaos. So until then, have a good one, guys. We'll see everybody on the next one. Keep it real, keep it positive, stay happy, and we will see everybody next time. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Do I see the line of my, my people own. back to the beginning? No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave they lived.